Hi there. How are you today? God bless you and thanks for watching. Today by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, we're going to look at the scripture to see examples of people who lost their salvation. And um, this uh, message is for the purpose of um, warning, rebuking, and also for the purpose of uh, edifying the body of Christ so that we may be able to examine ourselves, whether we are living in the faith, and to watch, pray, and be ready, be prepared for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is scriptural, as we can see in Revelation. The book of Revelation, uh, chapter 2 and 3, we see that Jesus himself came to warn the churches that were sleeping, that were lukewarm, to chastise them. Let's read from uh, Revelation 3, 19. It says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Amen. God doesn't want anybody to perish. And therefore, I'm using this opportunity to um, call upon my brothers and sisters, including myself, that we need to examine ourselves. We are in the last days. Um, Jesus is coming very soon. And we need to get ready. The Bible says that he that thinks, thinks that he stands, let him take heed, lest he falls. So we need to examine ourselves, whether we are still in faith, so that we will be able to take the right steps. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to look at some examples and um, just to, to be a warning uh, for us so that we don't uh, be deceived. Amen. I pray the Lord God will help us and open our spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the first uh, person that I want to mention is Judas. We all know Judas. Judas uh, is uh, one of the disciples of uh, Jesus Christ. And why did he lose his salvation? He loved money. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And he betrayed the Lord Jesus Christ because of many. Yes, he was with the Lord Jesus for three and a half years. They were going out together. He, they were going out for evangelism. He preached. He cast out demon. He was there ministering to Jesus and to other people, to praying with them, fasting with them, doing everything with them. The Lord was warning him about his um, sinful habit, but he disobeyed the Lord and um, he refused to repent. That sinful habit, the enemy, the devil, took that opportunity in his life. The enemy entered through that loophole in his life and um, he, he fell, he lost out. I pray that will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, the second um, person or persons are the couple, Ananias and Sapphira, in Acts uh, chapter 5, uh, verse 1 to 11. Ananias and Sapphira, they were part of the disciples, part of the, uh, the new church, the beginning of the church. And because they loved money too, they lied. They lied to the Holy Spirit and they died. In fact, immediately they, they died. We need to watch it. Also, the third person is Demas. Yes, Demas in 2 Timothy 4, 10. Let's read. Let's read this uh, passages. What happened to Demas? He loved the world. Hmm. The Bible says the love of the world is the is enmity to God. Demas, uh, he loves the world. 
and also um, the uh, another person is a uh, Eminius and Alexandra first Timothy 1 19 to 20 they blaspheme they claim that um, the resurrection has already occurred they are they were false teachers Emma Neos and Alexandra let's read the passage first Timothy 1 19 to 20 also uh, Hermenios and Philetus also lost out they lose their salvation second Timothy 2 17 to 18 talks about them they were first teachers in the church so we really need to be careful and let's look at um, Revelation where the Bible was rebuking the churches. I'm just going to mention two of the churches. Um, the Church of Sardis, Revelation 3, 1, 2. It says that, And to angels of the church in Sardis, write these things, says he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your words, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. See? So this church, they are dead. And the Lord came to warn them to be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your words perfect before God. See, is that you? Is that me? God is warning us. We need to take um, notes and be watchful and repent. Praise the Lord. And what did the Lord say he was going to do to them if they don't repent? He said he was going to come to them like a thief. And they will not know when. Please, let us examine ourselves. Let's also uh, look at the um, Laodicean Church in Revelation 3.15. The Laodicean Church is another church that was lukewarm. And the Lord was warning them. In um, Revelation 3.15, it says, I know your words that you are neither cold nor hot. Is that you? Is that me? Are you cold? Are you hot? Or oh, you are neither lukewarm. <laughs> Am I cold? Am I hot? Am I lukewarm? He said, I could wish you were cold or hot. See? So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. <gasps> See the Lord warning them that you are neither hot nor cold. You are lukewarm. I'm going to vomit you out. So if God vomits someone out of his mouth, where is that person going to go? Hmm. I pray the Lord will open our spiritual understanding. In 17, it says, Because you say, <laughs> I am rich have become wealthy and have need of nothing. See, this church were working in, in deception, self-deception. Am I deceiving myself? Are you deceiving yourself? In um, James 1.22, it said, Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. See, they're deceiving themselves. Oh, we're rich. We're good. We are born again. We are once saved. We are forever saved. We don't need to obey. We just believe. We are covered under grace. We can do whatever we like. This is them. See, here's an example. We just believe. And we can do whatever we like. We can sin. We are under the grace. Seriously? Look at it. Let me continue. And do not know that you're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, naked. See, they thought they were rich and they were wealthy and they don't need anything. But the Lord was telling them, you are not only um, wretched, you're miserable, you're poor, you're blind, you're naked. <sighs> this is a serious spiritual state so we need to examine ourselves and God was counseling them to buy from him gold 
refined in fire, white garment, holiness, ah, and and um, oil to anoint their eyes so that they will be able to see. And the same way the Lord is warning us to, the, the Lord is concerning us. Get back to the narrow road. Get back to the to the um, straight path. Start walking in obedience. Deny yourself, taking up your cross daily and following me. Pursue peace with all men in holiness, without which no one can see the Lord. So we need to be watchful and prayerful. How, how, how can we avoid the, the state of lukewarmness? Or how can we avoid losing our salvation? Hmm. The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. When we have godly fear, we will flee from sin or any appearance of sin and worldliness, which will lead to um, hell. Because God is holy. Amen. I pray the Lord God will help us. We need to walk in the Spirit so that we, we won't fulfill the, uh, the, the desires of the flesh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to daily abide in the word of God. It is important. Jesus said that if you love me, you will obey my commandment. Luke 9, 23. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Abiding in the word of God. John 5, 15. If you abide in my word, and my word abide in you, you shall ask whatever, and it will be done for you. So he that abides in me bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Praise the Lord. Also, we need to avoid sedu seductive false teaching. Get away from the church uh, you are going. If they are not teaching you about holiness, about um, prayerfulness, uh, about watchfulness, about the kingdom of God, about the coming of the Lord preparing you. What are you doing there? Live there. First Timothy. Let's look at First Timothy 4 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith. See, some will depart from the faith. I pray that will not be you, and I pray that will not be me. Giving heed to see. The saving spirit and doctrines of demons. So we need to be careful. The kind of teachers, the kind of pastor we, we, we listen to, the kind of messages. If you are in a kind of church that is deceiving you, telling you, won't say forever save, you are under grace, you can sin and do whatever you like, get out now. Get out. God loves you and is calling you to repentance. He's calling me to repentance that we need to examine ourselves. I pray the Lord God will help us. Also, we need to avoid sin, disobedience. Hmm. We need to avoid disobedience and sin. Because the Bible in uh, Hebrew 10, 26 says, If you willingly sin, continue to sin. <laughs> There's no more sacrifice, but the judgment of God. And our God is a consuming fire. So we need to avoid sin. Flee. The Bible says flee every, every appearance of evil. I pray the Lord God will help us. We need to walk in holiness, in obedience. 1 John 5, 3 said, this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not grievous. Let's depart from iniquity. Second Timothy 2 19. The foundation of God standeth sure. God knows those who are his, and let those who name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. God is calling us to repentance and examination of our spiritual life. Let's not be deceiving ourselves. Let's open our life to God to examine us. Search me all over whether there's any iniquity, any wickedness in me. 
and um, lead me in the path of righteousness. That should be a a desire. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord God will help us. We need to go back to Jesus Christ and seek him fervently. And paraventure, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ? Please do so. Repent of your sins. Believe that he died for you. Acknowledge that you are a sinner and repent and be baptized and you will be saved. God bless you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen.